Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to a brand new series that I like to call Connecting with Your Inner Feminine and or Masculine. Yes, in this video we are going to be working with the energies of your inner divine masculine. Um, I want to welcome all of you guys. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Eric. And if you are not, if you are returning, welcome back, y'all. Yes. So um, this is a brand new series that I've just started. Um, and it is with intentions of helping us understand how or what's going on with our inner feminine and inner masculine energies in an effort to help us connect further. Yeah. This is in an and this is for individuals who are working on that connection, that balance between the masculine and feminine energies. For individuals that are looking for uh, some sort of divine connection, divine partnership, maybe even if you're if you are if you resonate with the twin flame journey, this would this could potentially resonate with you. All of those connections, whether it be a twin flame, whether you label it a twin flame, a divine connection, a divine mirror, whatnot, whatever, all of those connections always have to have that impetus in internally all right it has to start come from the internal your internal connection between the masculine and feminine energies from there it is reflected into your external reality yeah so the intention with this reading and these this whole series is to not get an idea of what's happening with an external being in your life or an individual that you are connecting with externally this the intentions here are for you to understand what's going on on an internal level for you okay now keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't um and i do feel like i i, I want to offer these as per in the form of personal reading so if you would like a look and look into your own situation here connecting with your own inner mas feminine or masculine energies please email me all the information is in the description box below um, but this is an attempt to for me to get back into these divine partnership twin flame type readings um, if you're new to my channel then you may not know be aware um, but when i started my channel back in january of 2018 i started by doing twin flame readings while i was in the thick of my own twin flame activation whatnot what, whatever um i since fell off uh because i became the the situation is just really a really intense one um and i i had to take a take some time away. I had to take a break from doing those readings just because it was weighing so, my own journey was weighing so heavily on me. I just needed time to recuperate. And so now I've been guided to get back into the situation. So this is a uh, part of my attempt to do so, okay? So we're gonna be talking about what's going on with the inner masculine energy. So for those of you that are more femininely oriented in energy, and keep in mind that this is energy, not gender, okay? So you can be a, a man, but more femininely oriented and you can uh, energetically and you can be a woman and be more masculinely oriented energetically all right now keep in mind we have both masculine and feminine energies within okay so for those of you that are more femininely and uh, uh, oriented this is a video for you to help to connect with your inner masculine energies let me repeat the intention of this video for those of you that are femininely oriented is to get an, a closer idea, an understanding, albeit on a general level, because again, this is a general reading, but an understanding of how to connect with your own inner masculine energies. This is not about an external being, okay? This is about your internal relationship. I'm gonna say it one more time. This is for your internal relationship. So if you're not looking for that kind of reading or that kind of understanding, I guess I'll be losing you at this point. I hope I don't, because ultimately, if you want to connect with an individual externally, you have to have that connection internally first. And that is what the intention is here, all right? So without further ado, let me stop rambling and let's just get into it. So we're working with your inner masculine, your inner divine masculine energies. Please bear with me. This is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm, this. This series is brand new. These are the first videos of this series. I just did the feminine reading and now we're doing the masculine. Okay, so this is going to be free form. There really is no real structure. I have some bullet points here that I want to look into for the energies to get an idea of what's going on. But it, otherwise, it's just going to be free, free flowing. Okay, I'm starting with the, the unicorn tarot. 
all right? And the first thing I want to look at is the current state of your inner masculine energies. What is the current state? Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Before I even do that, let me get into my opening here. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the energetic state of our inner masculine energies. And please help us build a stronger bond with our inner masculine energies through this reading. Through this series, I guess you could say, but specifically <laughs> through this reading. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, look, I, I, I'm, I'm channeling so much from the inner masculine already. Um, he's saying things like, I want to be heard. I want to be seen. I want to be loved. I want to be understood. I want to be cared for. I want to be compassionate. I want to be empathetic. I want to be, I want to feel my emotions. I want to know what my emotions are. The, the, the inner masculine, the, the masculine energies really desire a balance here. All right. And I'm hearing him say it is time to let go of all of this twisted narcissistic bullshit. Like it's literally pulling me apart. And I'm starting to understand that now. That is gorgeous. <laughs> that is gorgeous. All right. So for the inner, for your inner masculine energies, I'm going to give this a few shuffles here. But what is the current energetic state of your inner masculine? What is... The current energetic ooh, state. Sorry, guys. My nose is itching. Channeling like crazy here. Current energetic state of your inner masculine. One last shuffle. And we'll see what we've got. Okay. Here we go. Current energetic state of your inner masculine. Oof. Okay. Okay. Ooh, child. That is a lot. Holy shit. That is a lot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take all of it. If y'all, if y'all, y'all know me, man, spirit likes to dump a bunch of cards on me at once. And I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person to just dive on into it. All right. Um, so a lot just came out, but we're going to talk about it. But I already feel like, because I have a little, uh, a secondary point to this, which is what are the current surrounding energies of the Divine Masculine? Um, so this may include some of that. We'll see. But overall energy, okay, is the Nine of Wands. The Wounded Warrior. Perseverance is key, all right? Perseverance is key. Um, I do want to say there's a really beautiful energy here a really beautiful energy with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. For those of you that have been with me since the beginning, you know that in my Twin Flame readings back in the day, the Divine Masculine kept getting the Knight of Pentacles over and over and over and over. And it was one of the most, <laughs> it was one of the most frustrating elements of that whole situation. If you're not familiar with the Tarot, the Knight of Pentacles is an energy of slow and steady wins the race, okay? Um, is about a slow and methodical energy. Um, it's about leaving no stone unturned. It's about doing things right, getting it right the first time or in the moment that you're handling it or that you're consciously focused on it because once you move away, once you move on from it, you don't want to have to double back because now further on down the road, you realized you missed something in the past or you did something incorrectly in the past, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, or something was just incomplete. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't want to do that. The Knight of Pentacles wants to get everything done and then move forward to the next and not have to go back. Well, that is in reverse here. And what I'm getting with that is the Divine Masculine is ready to stop procrastinating. Beautiful. And that's very much in alignment with what I was picking up on already. Okay. We have the six of wands. We have the six of pentacles. We have strength. We have the sun. We have the empress. We have the seven of pentacles. We have death and we have the tower. 
all right? Then we also have the Hierophant with the Ten of Cups. But you know what? In my opinion, the high of the, what I'm feeling right now is the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups go with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Hierophant represents... Uh, can represent marriage. For some of you, your inner masculine is definitely seeking some sort of marriage or just a, a, a partnership, a union. And, and, and he's like, he's like, whoa, okay, look, okay, I get it. I understand. I understand. The institution of marriage was set up by masculine energies in order to control. Okay, I get that. That's not what I'm looking for when I say I want marriage. <laughs> he's being very adamant about that. Please, please don't bite my head off. That's not what I'm looking for when I say I want marriage. Okay, I don't want to control you. I just want to be in a partnership with you. For some of them, they're saying, I want to be in a domestic partnership with you. All right. Now, if this if you're a more feminine energy and this is something that you desire, the blockage here that I'm getting internally when it comes to having this person step forward in the external is your own. Um, the own your own rift between yourself, you and your own masculine inner masculine energies. OK, no one is trying to control you here. What this means, what this is saying with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, with the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, the Hierophant being an energy of, yes, marriage, institution, commitment, whatnot, whatever. But it's also an energy of teaching and learning. And what I'm getting here is currently the Divine Masculine is an energy of learning about exactly what it would what it is that would be. His Ten of Cups. Learning through contrast, you can even say. Don't we have, we do. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. And the Seven of Pentacles, as a reader, for me, is an energy of learning through the contrast. It's about harvesting, yes. It's about reaping what one has sown, yes. It's about coming to a checkpoint also and saying, okay, these are the fruits of my labor. How did I, how did I achieve these fruits? Okay. Is this something, is this desirable? Yes. Okay, great. How did I get here? No. Okay, great. How did I get here? Now, with that understood, where do I want to go in the future? And how do I get there? Is this the harvest that I want? No. Okay, so what seeds do I need to plant and how do I need to care for them to actually get what I want? You see? Uh, uh, the uh, energy of learning through contrast. We have the Six of Wands with the Six of Pentacles and strength, okay? So there is an energy right now. Your inner divine masculine is seeking, well, is seeking balance, okay? But I feel like your inner masculine is feeling victorious in terms of achieving this level of being strong enough to really look at himself, look at his relationships, look at his situation and say, is this balanced? Is this reciprocal? If not, okay, now I'm getting strong enough to say, all right, I'm going to change that because I want this to be balanced. I don't want to be in this narcissistic, unreceptive, unreciprocal situation. I want to be, I want to start giving back. And that's taking a great deal of strength and self-control here with the strength card. You do have the sun with the empress, the tower, and death. So the feminine is showing up here as an influence on the divine masculine or your inner masculine. All right. The sun is coming out a lot. I know it came out during the feminine reading. Um... And then as I was clearing the decks and like shuffling and continuing on and moving, getting ready for the masculine reading, the sun kept coming out. OK, but the sun is about illumination. The feminine represented by the empress here has definitely catalyzed this change. All right. The tower and this transformation death has catalyzed this illumination with the sun. OK, and you see how in this deck, the sun has a masculine and feminine has masculine and feminine figures enjoying basking in the sunlight, enjoying their connection with each other. Being the divine twin flames that they are of each other, for each other. Yes, this deck does not have, usually this deck has a child, or no, usually this card has a young child on it, but here it's a masculine and feminine figure. The sun is representing the illumination of the desired relationship the healing, the bonding between the masculine and the feminine energies. So currently, right now, the masculine within you is going through a, a strong, a deep, strong transformation. Okay? A very strong transformation. 
influenced by the feminine. So I would highly recommend, if you haven't watched it already, to go ahead and watch that feminine reading. Okay? All right, so now with that said, what are about so this is the current energy of the, the your inner masculine so what are the surrounding energies in relation to this eight of, oh my god eight of cups with the fool i'm gonna leave it right there with the damn with the king of cups underneath that wow talk about emotional maturity walking away current surrounding energies in relation to all of this energy here the masculine is walking away is leaving all the things behind that no longer serve him is recognizing that, good golly, is recognizing that whatever you have around you, okay, masculine, or in your inner masculine energy, whatever you have manifested around you, a lot of it, most if not all of it, is super, superfluous, is irrelevant to you now or is irrelevant to your inner masculine, or isn't as fulfilling, isn't exactly what you thought it would turn out to be, or what he thought it would turn out to be. I'm, also, I'm almost, and for some of you, I'm getting a bit of a bait and switch type energy. Like you were baited into this pipe dream of the 10 of cups, yes? But then once you got there, you learned that it was all just part of the system, the hierophant, and it wasn't the complete 10 that you were sold, therefore, you're walking away, or he's walking away, and he's taking a leap of faith, moving in a direction with a deeper understanding, king of cups, emotional maturity, desiring emotional maturity, desiring to express himself from a place of emotional maturity, emotional responsibility also. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a mate. What just something just wanted to come out? Oh, the seven of wands. Okay, so we do have a little bit of mirroring here, because the feminine got the seven of wands in her overall in in her in the beginning of her reading too. She got the seven of wands with the ten of swords. Here, the divine masculine has the ten of cups. Okay, whatever it is, the two of you have been through. Sure, we can say at this point, we can say it is a little bit of an external thing, but also internally, all right? The internal dynamic between the masculine and the feminine has really led to boundaries, stronger boundaries. For the feminine, this is a challenge because the feminine is a little bit on an overly guarded energy right now due to the fact of whatever has gone on between the two. Okay, both in the physical and in the internal, the external and the internal. For the masculine, the masculine is also learning about boundaries, but is also learning about when to say no. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to go down that path. No, I don't want to express myself that way anymore. No, I actually never really wanted to do any of that. No, I actually never really wanted to express myself in that way. I just felt like I had to. Conformity. I'm not going to conform to that any longer. So, sorry, not sorry, but uh, I'm walking away now, <laughs> and I'm starting something new. Good on you, masculine. All right, so now let's get into your current challenge. What are the current energies surrounding your inner masculine? What are the challenges that are surrounding your inner masculine right now? What is your inner masculine challenged by right now? And for this, I am using the epic tarot and i believe all of the decks that i'm using in these readings are available on amazon so there you go so okay what is currently challenging your inner masculine right now what challenges are your inner masculines facing right now is your inner masculine facing what challenges what are the challenges they're saying keep shuffling okay what challenges is the inner masculine facing right now Last one. What challenges are the inner masculine facing right now? Okay. All right, guys, here we go. What challenges are the inner masculine facing? What is currently challenging the inner masculine? What are the lessons your inner masculine is working on learning right now? 
Okay. A bunch flipped over, and that's enough. Okay. All right. So what is your inner masculine facing right now? What challenges? What challenges? What challenges? What challenges? What challenges? Um, is the whole deck reversed? Yes, it looks like it. Yes, the whole deck is upside down. Okay. Well, looky here. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay. We do have the Six of Wands again. All right, so some mirroring there. We have the Hermit. We have the Knight of Wands. We have Justice. We have the Lovers. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So what's challenging your inner masculine right now? Uh, a sense of individuality. Um, your inner masculine may be kind of in a little bit of a hermit mode, um, but uh, the, your, you may feel like your inner masculine has pulled away a little bit, okay? The masculine being the fixed energy, the, 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 the action taker, you may, especially if you are more femininely oriented, you may feel like your drive, your action may have, your desire to act may have kind of subsided a little bit. That is because right now your inner masculine is being faced, is being challenged with understanding who he truly is. What does your inner masculine stand for? Who, who are you from a masculine point of view? Okay. Also, the Knight of Wands. Uh, this in this deck, this is the 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 um, the epic tarot. In this deck, we have the uh, the pages of this deck are unicorns. The knights are griffins. The queens are phoenixes, and the kings are dragons. Here we have a griffin, um, and this is the Knight of Wands. Especially coupled with this hermit energy, it's almost as if the masculine energies right now are starting to kind of are challenged by wrapping their minds coming to an, a, an understanding of what it means to be a light worker, a torch bearer, what it means to be a spiritual entity having a physical existence. Because keep in mind, the masculines are very much physically oriented, three-dimensionally oriented, are very logical, are, are not really very in tune, in tune with their emotions, are not really very in tune with um, intuition, at least from a feminine point of view, psychic ability, all that stuff. They're very grounded, they're very, they're very physical, they're very visceral, yes? Here, the masculine is being challenged with learning about your inner, their inner reality, learning about what it means to be a spiritual being having a physical existence, learning about what it means to be a light worker, a torch bearer, and all those kinds of buzzwords. What does that actually mean? Like what, 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 what is, what even is that? Okay. Now this is, I, I, I would rec highly recommend that you continue to try and figure this out from an internal point of view. Yes, you can reach out and try and get you know, information from external sources, blah, 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 but most of the, what you need right now, masculines, is to understand, get a, understand this internally. Develop your own understanding of it. Sure, bounce it, uh, bounce it around against uh, you know, at stuff in the external that you might find, you do some research, whatnot, whatever, but ultimately, you really need to understand this on an internal level, okay? You have justice with the lovers. So, this is what I was talking about in terms of the masculine wanting to come together, wanting to have this balance. Justice, your, your inner masculine right now is faced, is tasked with, is challenged with bringing justice to this connection between you internally, between masculine and feminine energies. Balancing this out and from that point of view, bringing this into the physical. Ace of Pentacles. Starting a new existence. I'm hearing for some of you starting a new business. For some of you, you might be getting into the process of doing some sort of spiritual work. Maybe wanting to start some sort of spiritual business. Like for me, that came through in the form of starting this YouTube channel and doing these readings and being of service in that way. For you masculines, that could be anything. Maybe you'll start doing readings too. Maybe you could be a yoga instructor. You could, I don't know. I really don't know, okay? For some of you, that's what this means. But for the most part, bringing the conflict to an end, 10 of sorts, closing out that chapter, bringing justice to the situation, bringing justice to the connection between the masculine and the feminine with justice and the lovers, and learning about oneself 
accepting your light working mission, accepting your mission here in life as a spiritual being having a physical existence in this time of great change and great awakening. Six of Wands, victory. It is a victory right now for you and your inner masculine just in the fact that your inner masculine is consciously facing this. Just in the fact that your inner masculine is no longer procrastinating, no longer wanting to put this on hold, no longer wanting to say, nah, ah, I don't want to do that. No, that's over with. Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This, in and of itself, is a victory because of the fact that we are now consciously facing these challenges. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so now, what does your inner masculine want you to know? You can see this as what does your inner masculine want to say to your inner feminine or just in an effort to connect with your inner masculine, what does your inner masculine want, to, want you to know? What, what would he want to say? If you two could sit down in front of each other, have a face-to-face -face conversation, what would your inner masculine say to you right now? I'm using the golden universal tarot for this. I'm so sorry, guys. My nose, I must be channeling hardcore because my nose is itching like crazy right now. And it's not like the typical allergy, like sinus things. Like my allergies are fine. It's just, it's like, it's an itchy on the, the tip of my nose. Ugh. Anyway, what, what does your inner masculine want you to know? What does your inner masculine want to say to you right now? It could be to you in general, or it could be to your inner feminine. One last shuffle. What does your inner fem masculine what to want to say to your inner feminine or to you? What does your inner masculine want to say right now? What does your inner masculine... Oh, two of cups. And you know what's so funny? As, I was, as that was coming out, I was channeling, love me. I just want you to love me. Aww. And that's mirroring right there because the feminine got that as well. Okay. Overall energy, ooh, seven of swords. I know I've been deceptive. I know I've been deceptive and I'm, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, also, what he's saying here with this overall energy of the seven of swords is, well, there is a very, okay, yeah, there's very, very, very strong message of apology for being so deceptive. But also, he's, he's wanting you to know that you're not going to see everything that he's going through. With the feminine, it might be easier to see it because she really kind of wears her emotions and her heart on her sleeve. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The masculine doesn't work that way. He's way more internal when it comes to dealing with his emotions, trying to deal with his emotions, going through something, working through something. He's not going to readily ask for, reach out and ask for help. That does not mean that you should be pushing and poking and prodding him saying, let me help you, let me help you. Absolutely not. The more that you do that, the more you're going to push him away. Okay. He also, do, though, with that said, he wants you to know that he absolutely does want this union to happen. Two of cups. And we're talking internally. Which ultimately, yes, you could say that it does happen externally too. He does want this externally too, but this needs to happen internally first. And that's what we have here in the lovers, all right, in what he's currently challenged with. Woo, we have death, we have the world, and we have the three of pentacles. He's saying, I'm changing. I'm changing, all right? We have death twice here. He's definitely transforming. There is an energy of, of him asking, he's, he's, he's very subtly asking you to please, please remain patient. It's almost, the way he's saying it, it's almost as like he, 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 need, he knows he needs to say it, but he also doesn't want to say it because it's been said to you, to the feminine for so long now. Um, he, I get it, I'm sorry, but please remain patient with me because I'm trying, all right? I'm trying, I promise. I'm doing it, you see, three of pentacles, self-mastery, but also I want us to work as a team. 
I want us to be the team that we naturally are, says the masculine. To the feminine, for the most part, all right? He's saying this to his divine counterpart. I want us to be a team again. I am so sorry for the ways that I've hurt you and I've betrayed you. I'm so sorry. And I know I can never take it back. I mean, yeah, all right, cool. You know, the divine is saying, yeah, well, you know, there's a lesson learned here. And all right, I kind of get that, you know, it all had to happen this way. But damn, I really wish, I also really wish it didn't have to happen this way. I mean, I see the value in it now, but, and I've learned my lesson, but shit, man. These are going to be some tough obstacles to, to get over. Yeah, that's true. But it is absolutely possible. We have one more card here. Eight of Wands. All right, so, um, and this Eight of Wands came out on his current energetic state and his current surrounding energies. So what he's saying with this, what he's literally, what he just said is, I am trying to complete this as fast as I can. Look, I mean, you want more proof? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. No more procrastination. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with it. I want to move forward. And I want to move forward as fast as I possibly can. All right? Now, 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 masculines, we appreciate your exuberance, but please, please understand that you can't rush any of this process. You can't rush this process, masculine. All right? Um... Okay, also, what just wanted to show itself in your current surrounding energy is masculine. Underneath the King of Cups, which is the energy that you're embodying right now, you do have the Five of Swords. But the Five of Swords is the competition surrounding you. Be very careful. Be very careful of who you spend your time with. Be very careful of who you open up to. Be very careful of who you share your dreams, your visions, your goals with, especially now that you are changing, now that you are taking this new path, because there are people that are going to want to stop you, that are going to want to tear you down. Do not give them that opportunity. All right? That was just a little bit of extra that came through there. Okay. So now... Last bit of tarot before we get to your closing oracle guidance is uh, what are the action steps that you can take to, in an effort to connect, further connect with your inner masculine energies? And I'm using, I'm using the Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. <laughs> Ciro Marchetti. This is one of the first decks I ever got when I, that I ever received when I decided to take the leap into doing professional readings for people. Um, and I never used it because it has a bunch of symbols that I wanted to learn about before I could get to using this deck so that I could really, you know, take advantage of it. But I never used it. So here we're using it now. Yay! Okay. <laughs> One more shuffle in terms of action steps that you can take to connect with your inner fem with your inner masculine, excuse me. Action steps, please, that we can take to connect with our inner masculine here. Action steps, action steps we can take to connect with our inner masculines. To connect with our inner masculine. The moon. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. With the two of swords. Wow, that's interesting. I'm going to pull some more here. The moon with the two of swords. Queen of wands. The hermit. The hermit again. Wow. All right. Um, I'm going to leave it there. And we have, all right, and we have justice at the bottom of the deck. It's so interesting because what I'm getting, <laughs> steps to take with, to connect with your inner masculine, it has to do with the feminine. And we have, we have four cards here that represent that, are, uh, that have feminine energy in it. You have the Queen of Wands, you have the Two of Swords, which is a feminine figure, you have Justice, which is, which is also a feminine figure, you have the Moon, which represents feminine energy, and you have the Hermit. But the Hermit does is a male figure, yes, but it's Virgo energy, which is feminine. 
which represents the feminine. Action steps towards actions. Wow. Wow. What I'm getting so far for this, guys, is in order to in order to connect deeper with your inner masculine, you have to allow your inner feminine to thrive. You need to find your inner feminine, which really doesn't even make much sense, but what I'm kind of, I'm going to get some clarification. I'm going to get some clarification with this, um, and I'm going to use the Dreaming Way Tarot. It's just, it's just, there is, a, what I'm getting with this is there has been a dominance of masculinity. Obviously, we know that. In order to balance the scales, you need, in order to balance the scales, you need to allow your feminine to thrive. You need to allow your inner feminine to thrive and be who she is. You need to focus more on the internal reality. You need, it is through the eyes of the feminine that you, masculine, will be able to know, to know yourself better. Because you need to see yourself through the eyes of the feminine. You need to see yourself the way the feminine sees you. Because the balanced feminine, wow, the feminine that has gotten into her, in her true divine feminine empress energy sees the masculine in ways that are so unconditionally loving, so appreciative. And yes, the current, currently the feminine energies are very blocked, are very guarded, but that's because of the over-dominance of the masculine energy. In order to connect with your inner masculine, you need to start looking at your inner masculine through the eyes of the feminine. Through the eyes of your animal instincts. I was not expecting that. And that, that might seem a little contradictory, and yet it's not. Because ultimately, the masculine and feminine are just two parts of the same whole. It is the feminine that gestates and gives birth to life. So in essence, the masculine emerged from the womb of the feminine. And thus, the feminine loves and appreciates the masculine unconditionally, but it's when he exerts this dominance over her as if he's better than or more than, more important than, that's when the problems really start to flare. Wow. One last shuffle, and I do, then I do want to get a little bit of clarification on that. Just a little bit. All right. Here we go, guys. Just a little bit of clarification. Action steps in connecting with your inner masculine. So for the feminines out there, what you need to do is you need to see the masculine through the eyes of source unconditionally look at your inner masculine as a little brother or a son or something like that i don't know whatever would whatever would inspire the feelings of innocence childhood childlike nature work to see your inner masculine not from the place of maybe the conformist it may have he had may have grown into Look at him as if he were a toddler, as if he were a newborn, completely innocent, fresh, new to the world, without the, 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 the bullshit of conditioning, is what I'm getting with that. Recognize that the masculine is, in fact, a part of you. Five of Pentacles. Well, this absolutely has to do with the fact that the feminine is very closed off. Four of Pentacles. You got, ooh, yes. Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Overall. 
energy as clarification in how to connect with your inner masculine. Stop leaving your inner masculine out in the cold. He is begging and pleading you to allow this to happen. He's going through his transformation, okay? Cycles are closing out and yet he still feels inadequate because the feminine is still holding is still holding on to resentment, is still guarded, is still blocked. Unconditional love. Ace of Cups. Love. Look at the masculine through the eyes of love. Instead of what he has done in the past or how he has made you feel in the past or how he has hurt you in the past, instead, look at it from the eyes of unconditional love. Okay, now we're gonna close out this reading with Oracle Guidance from the Dragons. I love this deck. Alrighty kids, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oracle Guidance in terms of connecting with your inner masculine energy. And it's, it's so crazy because what was coming through in the feminine reading was a change in perspective is needed. Three times in all three of the major situations here, was it all th in three of them? Was it three? I don't remember. I don't remember if it was all three or if it was all four or if it was just three of them. One, two, no, we only have three. Okay, so yeah, so it was, no, one, two, th I'm so sorry, guys, I'm all over the place. But anyway, the hanged, man, <laughs> the hanged man kept coming out for the feminine, okay? Change in perspective is needed. Change in perspective is needed. And that's what the feminine is working on right now. So good, this is lining up. This is absolutely lining up, you guys. I'm gonna give this one last shuffle. Woo, my nose is itchy. And then we'll see what we've got. Oracle guidance, please, in connecting with your masculine energies. There it is right there. There it is right there. We have deep blue dragon keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Trust that you are protected. Walk on a path of light. For the masculine. You are protected as you go through this transformation. For the feminine, you are protected as you go through your transformation and as you slowly but surely, excuse me, because no, no one is asking you to rush into this, but you are protected as you slowly yet surely open up and connect with the masculine energies internally, yes? Let's read about this card here. Deep blue dragon is a fifth dimensional dragon. Excellent. Deep blue dragon keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Trust that you are protected. Walk on a path of light. Deep blue dragons work with Archangel Michael, the angel of strength and protection. Also, I heard, of, I think it was yesterday, uh, Archangel Michael can be seen as the quintessential divine masculine of the angelic realms, I guess. I'm not sure who would, would, would Ariel be the feminine? I'm not sure. Anyway, deep blue dragons. So the fact that, that, that Archangel Michael has come through here in the masculine energy is perfect. Deep blue dragons work with Archangel Michael, the angel of strength and protection. Dragons can delve deep into can delve into deep, dense matter in a way that angels cannot. They can clear and transmute lower frequencies up to one kilometer around those they work with. These frequencies may be our emotions and thoughts or emotions and thoughts of people in our vicinity. Many of us are very sensitive and do not realize how much the vibrations of others impact us. Every time we walk in a crowd, we are in a, in a sea of mixed energies, and these deep blue dragons are master clearance experts. They blow away the foggy vibrations, and then Mike, Archangel Michael can more easily connect with us and place, a, and place his deep blue cloak around us. So the biggest thing that I'm getting right now from this deep blue dragon is clearing away all of the shit 
imposed by the external. External individuals, external situations, external reality, external circumstances, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. In order for us to connect with ourselves on a deeper level, in order for us to understand who it is we actually are without all of the conditioning of the external world of 3D reality. Guidance. This card is suggesting that you call on the deep blue dragons to protect you and your love, you or your loved ones. Visualize a protecting army of deep blue dragons gliding in front of you wherever you walk or drive. Let them precede you into your home or office. Ask them to dive into the ground below your house to consume all lower energies. Ask them to keep an area of, of kilometer around you, uh, to keep an area of a kilometer around you totally clear. Relax and trust this is happening. Because the deep blue dragons are transmuting the lower emotions of those in your vicinity, you are no longer moving through the dense energies of those of other people. Notice how much lighter and happier you feel. You can serve the planet by asking deep blue dragons to dive un under your shopping mall, schools, big buildings, or where anywhere you feel they are needed to consume dense vibrations. This is all about clearing out the dense three-dimensional lower vibrational uh, vibration vibrational energies so that you can connect on a higher scale to higher vibrational realities all right guys so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i really hope this was helpful for you please 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 let me know how this resonated with you guys and with that said i look forward to connecting with you all again very very soon and i hope you have a really fantastic day yeah take care Mwah! Bye.